Each year, more than 600,000 hysterectomies are performed in the U.S. Hysterectomy is the second most common major surgery among women, the first being childbirth by cesarean section. About one-third of women in this country have had a hysterectomy by age 60. Hysterectomy is the surgical removal of the uterus, which may or may not involve taking out the cervix and the tubes in the ovaries, depending on the situation and why the patient's having surgery. The most common reasons for doing hysterectomy would be removal of fibroids, which are benign tumors of the uterus. It can also be for bleeding, which is hard to manage with other treatments, or for precancers or cancers of the reproductive tract. Those would all be the most common reasons for surgery. Dr. Daniel Tobias, a specialist in obstetrics and gynecology with subspecialty training in gynecologic oncology and surgery, is based in Morristown and Summit, New Jersey. He says that while the vast majority of hysterectomies are performed through invasive open surgery, technology is beginning to change that, which is good news for both patients and surgeons. Some of the main benefits that robotics provides is that you, the surgeon has better uh, dexterity, fine motor control, better visualization, and therefore the ability to perform more complex surgeries on a wider variety of patients than you would otherwise be able to do minimally invasive surgery. Minimally invasive surgical techniques like laparoscopy have distinct benefits for the patient, like less scarring, less pain and blood loss, and quicker recovery time. But robotics is taking minimally invasive gynecological surgery to the next level. At Morristown and Overlook Medical Centers, Dr. Tobias, the director of the Women's Cancer Center and Division of Gynecologic Oncology, uses the Da Vinci robot, which combines remotely operated robotic arms equipped with minute surgical instruments and 3D real-time imaging, giving him an increased level of precision, versatility, and control in intricate surgical procedures. In addition to hysterectomy, we often use the robot for uh, cases involving large complex masses which are difficult to remove for patients that have had previous surgery or infection therefore have a lot of adhesions for removal of fibroids in women that want to preserve their uterus for future fertility or for staging patients that have cancer to see if there's any spread of their disease and therefore help determine what's the best treatment for them after the surgery. Robotic instruments can do things traditional laparoscopic instruments cannot, like twist, turn, and maneuver around corners. In addition, the technology allows the surgeon to have a magnified 3D perspective, almost like standing inside the body while operating. The result is the ability to see and do things that can't be done otherwise. Robotics is really ideal for complex cases that have a lot of adhesions perhaps from endometriosis, previous infection, which can be very difficult to do using traditional laparoscopic techniques because there's a lot of dissection. There may be organs such as the colon or bladder stuck to other structures and it can be very difficult. In addition, the robot's very useful for uh, radical hysterectomies which involve removing the uterus and some of the tissue around the cervix which involves a lot of complex dissection as well as cases involving metastatic disease where you may be working on top of blood vessels. For many women, a hysterectomy is often associated with feelings of loss and emotional distress. The benefits of robotic surgery translate into quicker physical healing so patients can focus on emotional healing. Dr. Tobias and the Atlantic Health System team is sensitive to all these needs and strives to make every aspect of treatment as positive and successful as possible. I had gotten a lot of information on robotic surgery and because I had had open surgery, not long before, it seemed the natural choice because the recovery time was a lot less. And there was very minimal pain involved in the robotic surgery and I did recover within a week or so. I chose robotic surgery after seeing all my options and I didn't want to cut my muscles in my stomach because I'm very active and I wanted to keep riding my horse as soon as possible and the recovery time was much less than uh, having a five inch scar than uh, these little small incisions. Patients having robotic surgery tend to be discharged home in the majority of cases the following day, so they're in the hospital only one night after a hysterectomy and many other procedures. In addition, patients seem to have very little pain. They do have some discomfort, but most patients don't require narcotics. They may just take Advil or Motrin, which is very surprising for a hysterectomy patient. And overall, their satisfaction is significant and that many patients seem to indicate to me that they feel that the surgery and the whole process was much uh, 
less uncomfortable and much easier than what they expected. I do have two small children and I need the recovery to be quick. I have a four-year-old and a seven-year-old. So uh, for the fact that he did not have to cut me open, the recovery was excellent. That's why I've been very, very happy with my procedures and also my incisions are very small and very light. That was another concern of mine to make sure that I wasn't cut from side to side. No matter what stage in life you are in, Morristown and Overlook Medical Center's Women's Services offer the most advanced diagnostic and treatment tools available. Whether you are making your first trip to the gynecologist, welcoming a new baby into your family, or going through menopause, Atlantic Health System is here for you. We were one of a handful of hospitals that gained access to the robot originally in the state of New Jersey. Over time, we've become the busiest robotics gynecologic program in the state and have gained expertise in performing these procedures successfully for both benign and malignant gynecologic conditions. As a result, our group is proud and privileged to be able to offer these procedures to our community so that patients can benefit from this technology. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with a uterine condition that requires surgery, you owe it to yourself to learn more about the benefits of the Da Vinci Robotic Surgical System. This state-of-the-art procedure positions Morristown and Overlook Medical Centers as leaders in advanced gynecological treatment methods within the medical community. To learn more about robotic surgery for gynecologic conditions, visit AtlanticHealth.org.